guys can see tonight, nice opening on 50 megahertz. Lots of GT65 that I'm listening to. You know, people are using this mode because it's such a good mode for low, uh, really, really weak signals. So, of course, it's one of those modes that people try because they want to DX as much as possible. So let's check out, okay, this is what we've been, I've been decoding recently. Uh, so, what do we see here exactly? And um, where is it from? So, usually the exchange, you got to look at the last call because the first call is the station that they were communicating with but when a station ends they always put their call last so basically what I heard was this part the right part so let's check out a few stations where they are from here there are some CQs so let's try the CQs okay so one was AB3OF so basically I use an app on my phone but you can go on uh, QRZ.com but on my phone I also have QRZ app so I will enter AB3OF so basically what I do is I AB3OF so I write it in the search box I click search and I get an answer for what this is and this one is from Delaware as you see here now VE3PV I know that's from Ontario uh, Canada but I will look at it VE3 Papa Victor and I will type search of course and it's Rick Leblanc and he's in Windsor Ontario Canada so uh, when there's a sporadic E opening like this very very often what you can do is check out from where your stations come from and at some point you'll have a general idea of where exactly signals are coming from you'll see that sporadic e skip is actually working itself from a specific area and so uh, I've noticed for example lots of stations from the Midwest states of um, the United States a little bit up in Canada from Ontario and Saskatchewan which is just above so it you know you get a trend when you actually uh, look at these now once again this is JT65 for those that don't know what that is it's a low uh, signal mode low power mode also most of these stations are using very very little power it is made and designed for weak signal activity uh, on 50 megahertz so on 6 meters the frequency for JT65 I've, I've, as I've uh, shown you in another video 5276 upper sideband okay uh, you can't use that with a regular scanner. You need a communications receiver that's got single sideband on VHF in order for you to listen to this. So it's a little more advanced and it's what you need. You know, there are two types of radio scanner receivers and communications receivers. This is for communications receivers because scanner radios usually don't have single sideband, but they will have other capabilities, you know, like. Um, app code 25 or p25 uh, uh, decoding stuff like that you know digital um, modes and emergency services you know each each um, type of receiver has its own capabilities so um, basically it's been the last you know what it's 2300 hours UTC I've been technically listening to uh, 6 meters and 10 meters also is open so you know when 50 megahertz open you can bet that 10 meters, 10 megahertz is open also. Um, I've been listening to that for the past almost two hours now straight. And I mean, uh, it, it doesn't even show signs of, of being weak or anything. Um, if you don't fancy j digital modes, and by the way, the software I use is JT65HF. Very important to decode with this. Your computer needs to be very accurate on its clock or else it doesn't work. Uh, but if you don't fancy digital modes when there's an opening, remember that starting at around 50.100 uh, up to 50.200, there are often some single sideband voice, so you can try that out. I, I heard a few earlier, not a lot of voice signals. I guess not a lot of people are actually aware that 6 meters open. And we'll see as the as the uh, night 
continues here in North America. People come from home from work and everything. I think it uh, could be very surprising what we'll hear. I'll keep an eye. I'm keeping an eye all night for six meters until I really see that it's completely dead. So this is sporadic e-skip that does that. Sporadic e-skip is a phenomenon that goes uh, with patches of ionized ionosphere that suddenly appear for some reason. Um, we think that maybe the weather has part of the effect on it. Uh, it could be also there's a mix of you know maybe weather and uh, astronomical phenomena like meteor scatter and stuff like that. Um, you know it's not something that we're sure a hundred percent here. Uh, it's something that's still experimental and that's why amateur radio and the amateur radio community is still very important. There's a lot that we still don't know about the radio signals, the radio spectrum and how it propagates. So I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, you know I've posted a lot of stuff on my VHF channel so I'm kind of happy this is happening. It makes a few videos uh, for you guys and girls on the, the VHF range. Uh, for those that were there on the uh, of course the uh, satellite listening hope you enjoyed that. I uh, got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people asking me when's going to be the next one. Uh, I promise soon we're going to have an, another one and uh, so you know pretty cool to see that there's an opening in uh, the uh, 50 megahertz range 6 uh, meter band. Amazing amazing to see the 6 meter band open uh, tonight. June 9th 2017 at uh, 2303 UTC.